I'm Claire Pembroke and we're going to do a short tour of the college for you today so you can see what the college is like if you can't visit in person. Hi everyone, I'm Libby and I'm the school's liaison officer at Pembroke College and I'll also be taking you around some of the college sites today. So when you first come into Pembroke, this is the first court, it's called Old Court. Um, Pembroke itself was founded in 1347 um, and some of the buildings in this court were built around that time. To the left of me is the Porter's Lodge, it's kind of like the reception to the college. Um, the Porter's Lodge is open 24-7, it's also where as a student you can pick up your post. The Porter's are also there on hand to help with any kind of maintenance issues and they're also all first aid trained. students to use though, you don't need to have any faith, you don't need to be any religion um, or anything like that to make use of the space. They have things like music recitals and stuff in there as well as some services um, and we've also got a war memorial here. Let's come and take a look inside. library lawn behind us and the library to, I guess, your right, um, which is, I think, a really, really beautiful building. Um, it had an extension at the end of it, I think, in the 90s. Um, the library itself is open from 8 till midnight every day, and it's only open to members of the college, so there's always going to be places for you to sit there. I think they've got over 40,000 books, um, and they can also order books for you if you need it, because it's a big thing for your course, so you can ask the librarian to buy it for you. Um, the college also does book grants as well, so if you need something yourself, uh, then you can apply for one of those too. There are also department libraries as well as the university library at Cambridge, so you'll never be short of things to read either. Behind me is Red Buildings, which is one of our student accommodation buildings. It's also where our college nurses office is. We have two college nurses who you can go to for anything from medical help to more pastoral um, and wellbeing support. As you can also see, we also have a number of bike racks located here um, for you to park your bike if you need to cycle around the city to your lectures and seminars. So we've just walked past on this side um, the Master's Lodge. Uh, Pembroke's master is Lord Chris Smith. Um, he was a Labour MP, he's now a member of the House of Lords. Um, and the master of a college, uh, some colleges call them presidents. Um, it's basically like the head of the college. Um, so yeah, and you'll see him around the college if you come and study here quite often. Downing site, which is one of the sites that houses some of the university departments on. 
so it's not far to get to loads of the departments from Pembroke at all. You can't really also see that there are more bikes parked there um, as well, so there's more bike parking facilities just here and also all the way behind this building too. And uh, to the right of me is another student accommodation building. This one is called Orchard Buildings, so lots more student bedrooms as well as some more laundry facilities as well. As you've probably seen already on the tour, there's loads of green space in the college and there's the gardens are really pretty and they're looking pretty good at the moment. Um, but this is called the Bowling Green and I wanted to point this one out because students quite often sit on here um, in the summer and have picnics and stuff. So this is the only green in Pembroke that you are allowed to actually sit on uh, around the edges. But yeah, it's pretty well used in summer. So behind me we have New Court. Um, it doesn't look very new, but it's another um, set of student accommodation buildings and there's also another entrance or exit to the college just through that archway there which will take you to the Faculty of Biological Sciences as well as the Student Services Centre as well. a bar in the evening um, and also the sort of undergraduate common room which is called the JCR for the junior common room. Um, there's also a TV room in there as well uh, and some other facilities that the college has got. They've got like a table tennis room, um, various other things. Libby's already mentioned some as well but again there's a facilities page on our website so have a look at that and we'll put the link in the video as well. We've also got the cafe, sorry, the uh, servery just in here. Uh, so for most meals, you just go through the servery and cook your food and then go and eat in the hall. Yeah, and we cater for all sorts of dietary requirements. There are vegetarian and vegan options every day, as well as a Simply Pembroke range, which is free from most of the main allergens as well. Um, so if you do have any specific dietary requirements, then you can just speak to our catering department about that. And the other thing to mention as well is that most of the student staircases for accommodation have got little kitchenettes in them too. Um, so if you don't want to go through the surgery or if you're out with like a sports practice or something like that and you miss the um, dinner time, then you can cook something for yourself as well if you want to. Yeah. And then we're back in the first court that we started in. So I guess that's pretty much the tour of Pembroke yeah. done. Um, I hope you've liked it. Uh, there's loads of information on the Pembroke website and you're always welcome to get in touch with us and in the admissions office as well if you have got questions that you want to know the answers to. Yeah, and we look forward to hopefully seeing you soon.